Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS add-on programming. So in this video series, we are taking a look at the variables which are commonly derived in ADSL. So in this video, we will see how to create some baseline variables, which for example, we'll see how to create height at baseline and weight at baseline. So let us take a look at the specification given to us for the derivation of height BL. So the variable label for height BL is baseline height and the derivation logic is subset the records from VS dataset where VS test CD is equal to height and VS DTC less than or is equal to RFST DTC and VS ST SN is not null which is the records prior to on or prior to the reference start date and non-missing result and the second step of this derivation says populate height BL using VSSTRESN from the latest record available. So we will get one or more records from the step one of this derivation. Of those records, we need to use the latest record and use the value from VSSTRESN to populate height BL. And let us also take a look at the derivation for weight BL. It should look something very similar to height BL derivation, but only the test CD should change. So subset the records from VS dataset where VS test CD is equal to weight and missing less than VS DTC less than or is equal to DM dot RFST DTC and VS STRESN is not null. And then again populate weight BL using VS STRESN from the latest record available. So let us see how we can programmatically derive this. So we have for this derivation what we need is dm dataset and vs dataset as we are programming adsl dataset dm dataset becomes our base dataset and all the entire process things from other datasets gets added as variables into our adsl so in these first two data steps i am just creating a copy of dm as into work library with dm01 name and similarly, I'm creating a dataset named VS01 by reading the dataset VS. So as per the specification, we were supposed to filter the records which are on or before the reference start date for both height and weight and result is not missing. So for that, we need to compare VS DTC with RFST DTC. RFST DTC is in our demographics dataset. For that, we are merging demographic data set to our vital science data set based on subject ID and then keeping the records for the subjects who are present in both the data sets. Just in case if there is any data issue and if there is a subject present in vital science but not in demographic data set, for those subjects, the records would be deleted because of this if A and B. So, and again, after that, we are subsetting the required test. So there can be more than uh, one test or more than height and weight uh, or there can be other tests other than height and weight in vital signs so for that we are interested uh, only in height and weight we are subsetting that using a subsetting if statement and then we also had to subset the records which are on or before reference started for that we are using another subsetting if statement if vs vs dtc less than or is equal to rfst dtc and then we had another condition to check for, which was to check for the presence of a result or the non-missing uh, result. So here we are using another subsetting if statement to filter those records. So three consecutive subsetting if, state, if statements to filter the required records. So there can be more than one record on or before reference start date for height and weight. So we need to pick the latest record as per the second part of the definition in the specification. So we can do that by sorting the records and then picking the last record within each SCD. So we are using our sort step to sort the records based on subject ID, VS test CD and VS DTC. So all the records of a subject and the test group together and within that the earliest record comes on top and the latest record comes at the end within the subject and test cd and after that we are making use of data step by group processing and first dot last dot concept and here specifically last dot concept to subset the latest record 
So this way we'll have one record per subject per test city and that record that gets chosen is the latest record because we have ensured that the dates are sorted ascending, ascending manner. And then let us take a look at the data till this point. So let us run till this step and then see how the data looks like in VS03. So we have subsetted the records which are the latest ones and the non-missing result which are on or before reference start date. So we have one record per subject per test CD. So let us now go back to the code and then see the remaining section. So here we are just trying to transpose because we had one record per subject per test CD. So the two test CDs are height and weight. I'm just trying to transpose those two results and creating the variable names using the values present in test CD variable. So I'll get one record per subject now and I'll have two variables created for height and weight and in the newly created variables the values would be from VSST RESN variable. Along with this ID statement I have also made use of suffix is equal to option on proc transpose statement and I have used a value of BL. So what this does is like if, if we do not use suffix the names present in the VSTCD variable would become the names of the newly created variable. So the values present in VSTCD are height and weight and then if I use suffix, what would happen is the two letters BL would be added at the end of the existing test CD value. So height would become height BL and weight would become weight BL. So I have employed this technique so that I do not need to rename those variables again because the newly created variables have that standard pattern. Just add the suffix of BL to the value in test CD. So let us run this code and then see how the data set looks like. So we have our data set. So if you see in VS03 we had one record per subject per test CD. So that was height and weight for each subject. So now I have transposed the data such so that using u sub jd in the by statement so that the values in u sub jd remain as rows and then the newly created variables are height and weight BLs. So this BL got added because of the suffix option which I have used on the prop transfer. So I have the baseline variables created. I can make use of these two variables coming from trans01 and merge it to my data set to have height and weight BL created in a new data set called VS04. After that, I'm just simply employing a retain statement to reorder the variables in the required uh, order and then keeping only the required variables. Let us run the entire piece of code and then see how the final output looks like. So if you see, then we have all records coming, from, all the subjects coming from demographics data set and then height and weight BL coming for the subjects who have data. So why do we have this height and weight BL missing for subject 1005 is this subject has not taken a dose yet. So RFST DTC is null. So we were comparing VS DTC with the reference started even though the subject has a record in vital signs that because of the absence of RFST DTC we will not get the height BL and weight BL for this subject. So this is how we can create baseline variables in ADSL dataset.